Ready for a two-hour mission, the Cheyenne can be loaded with up to 8,000 pounds of ordnance, 2,000 rounds for its 30 millimeter belly gun, 780 rounds for its 40 millimeter nose gun, up to 114 2.75 inch rockets, and six tow missiles. Guns and tow missiles are controlled from the co-pilot gunner's swiveling gunner station, which can slew 360 degrees, and incorporates in its gyro-stabilized lower sight head, the tow missile tracker, the 12 power optical sight, the laser range finder, and the infrared night vision sight. Placing his helmet sight reticle on the target, the pilot can also control the guns by simply moving his head. Fire control is fully automated. The gunner need only place the reticle of his 12 power day sight or six power night vision sight on the target and activate the laser range finder. From that moment on, the sight stays locked on to the target regardless of aircraft maneuvers. The central computer combines sight line and range information from the swiveling gunner station with ground speed and attitude data from the Doppler inertial navigation system to calculate all weapons aiming corrections, taking into consideration winds at altitude and the particular ballistics for the selected weapon. The computer then points the gun for maximum first round hit accuracy. Cheyenne needs no ground support equipment at the operational level. The onboard auxiliary power unit allows the aircraft to stand by indefinitely with all systems up, ready for instant mission scramble from austere sites. With the crew on board, the engine is started. Pilot gunner rechecks the automatic fault location and warning system panel. Human engineering determined the cockpit layout. Forward basing at austere sites makes Cheyenne available to the field commander for immediate action from remote locations. In flight, the pilot inserts the coordinates of checkpoints, flight destination, and targets into the fully self-contained navigation system. Range and bearing to these and any other points is always available at the pilot's choice. Accurate navigation in the nap of the Earth over long distances allows Cheyenne to be deployed along broad frontal sections in a non-stationary tactical situation. Its rigid rotor, wing, and pusher propeller provide stability and maneuverability unmatched by any other helicopter. Although not a tactical maneuver, Cheyenne demonstrates here its excess maneuvering power from high speed on the deck. In a dive, reverse thrust from the tail propeller allows a constant speed dive angle three times steeper than that of other helicopters. This maneuvering power and the aircraft's negative G capability are imperative for tactical operation in mountainous terrain. High speed close to the ground and use of terrain masking maximize survivability against ground-to-air and air-to-air weapons and give Cheyenne the advantage of surprise to the enemy. 
2,000 rounds of 30 millimeter ammunition on board and the high weapons accuracy allow targets of opportunity to be engaged selectively. Targets of higher value may be engaged with rockets from a high-speed dash while delivering suppressive fire with the 30 millimeter belly gun. By now, past his firing point, the gunner observes the impact of his long-range burst through the 12-power sight. Where the enemy threat is significant, Cheyenne acquires its target from standoff range or defilade. Then maneuvers behind cover to a firing position with the gunner's sight locked to the target. Upon pop-up at the firing position, reacquisition is immediate. While the long-range burst impacts the target, Cheyenne is on its way to a new engagement. Mobile and swift anti-armor capability is Cheyenne's foremost attribute. Initial acquisition of an enemy tank is made from standoff range and defilade. The sight line is locked onto the target as the pilot moves to navigate to a firing position. To minimize the chance of detection by the enemy and to maximize the element of surprise, the pilot may choose a firing position far removed from his point of target acquisition. While navigating a detour around a complex of hills, the target position is retained by the computer. Upon pop-up at the firing position, the tank is in the gunner's sight. Terrain cover is resumed immediately after impact as Cheyenne turns away to another engagement. At times, a running surprise attack and rapid resumption of terrain masking result in the shortest exposure time to the enemy threat and impose high angular tracking rates on their weapons. Cheyenne has already resumed terrain cover behind the hill to its right as it leaves the battle scene. Note the small bright flash on the far right horizon as Cheyenne launches its missile then veers off. Here is the gunner's view of a tow launch, followed by a veer off while tracking the target. In Cheyenne, the tank, advancing at night, has at last found its master. The tow launch at night, as seen by friendly ground troops, see it. And as the enemy has to suffer it. Cheyenne has demonstrated its performance, its deadly firepower, and pinpoint accuracy. And it is highly survivable. Cheyenne is here, now, it is reality.